October 1980, WBAB begins hosting Zebra concerts. January 1981, we begin playing Zebra on the air. One year later, Randy Jackson joins Bob Buckman. If you've never seen Zebra, you really ought to go. From the artist standpoint, sometimes you're too close to it to even hear, Randy, but, I mean, we hear things like, not only do they play Zeppelin as good as Zeppelin, but also... Um, the originals have just as much crowd enthusiasm. I mean, they know the originals as well as they know the Zeppelin, and as well as they know the Montrose and the Moody Blues and everything else you guys cover. And they respond. They really do. Well, a lot of that's due to WBAB and you. Well, we're glad. We really glad. appreciate that. Well, we got to thank Long Islanders for encouraging us to get so involved with Zebra. Take your fingers from my hand. The question that we get asked most is, the album, the album, the album. You guys have been around for so long. You guys draw such a crowd. You guys make a really good dollar in the clubs and have a, have a long history in your stable band, very creative, very talented. What's the story? Why no contract? Well, like you said, it's been so long. Like, I'm not going to settle for, you know, sure. something that's not going to do it for us. But now we feel that we're at a point where we're, we're just going to start recording regardless and uh and we're gonna put something out I could only live yesterday. Think I tried to do it right. I had one more chance to be with you. July 26, 1982, Perry Apollo's lead story. At 12.30 this afternoon, less than a half hour ago, Zebra was signed to Atlantic Records. The band is in the rehearsal studio with producer Jack Douglas, who produced the Aerosmith Collection and John Lennon and Yoko Ono's Double Fantasy album. Yep, we have been waiting a long time for that. The band's been waiting even longer, and it's good to see it's finally come to pass. December 1982, Randy Jackson. We're here in the record plant getting ready to mix our first album, and on behalf of Felix and Guy, I'd like to say thanks to all our good friends who have supported and stuck with us for the past five years here on Long Island. Without your help, none of this would have been possible. Thanks, and we'll see you in 83.